Thursday morning at about 2.30 in the morning. These people from across the town came up this road here. You can see there's pylons at the very end of the road. And then they, uh, they came down this road. And um, they tried to move their trailer home. A double wide trailer home. And they came across this curve here. And uh, didn't quite make it. They didn't pull wide enough or whatever else. They ended up in the ditch here. This is a scrape mark on the gravel, on the, not gravel, but the, the drive uh, blacktop of, of part of their damage. And this is the uh, double wide. Let me. I keep wanting to tilt my camera to get an accurate picture of it, but that's about a level picture of it. This here is from them. It's some, some kind of burned rubber thing that they did. And there's a slight dent in the road and a bunch of burnt rubber on the ground there. And this is the back end of the trailer. Um, basically, they drove off the road and created this giant hole in uh, Zach Burke's ditch. And uh, that's where the tires are sitting now. It's been here for a little over 24 hours. Right now it's about Thursday. Uh, I think it's about 8 o'clock in the morning right now. So let me show you the side view. Um, to me, the most dangerous part of this, which is why I wanted to help last night, there's a gash in the trailer, is that um, if you were to come down this road like people normally do, and you'd hit this curve you would not see that trailer until the very last second because of the tree line there. You'd come down the road and come around and all of a sudden there'd be this trailer home. And so I'm glad that they had the common sense to put pylons up at the top of the hill there um, to kind of block this off. Thank God no one lives on this road because they've had to have it blocked off for more than 24 hours. And this is the underside view of it down here. See if we can get an image of what it looks like down there a little bit. That's a little better, but you can see it's just kind of stuck down in there. There's a half flat tire. Supposedly the story is, is that two of the axles popped off and they had to weld them back on as they were pulling it out of here. I mean, this whole thing is sitting cockeyed and uh, it's a pretty hot mess. We've got a bucket truck up here that they tried to move it with originally. And when it got stuck, they broke the drive shaft and broke the yoke on the back axle of the bucket truck, trying to pull it out of there. Again, this was two, three, four o'clock in the morning on uh, uh, Wednesday morning, super early in the morning. So here's the damage here. And they had a four-wheel drive pickup truck trying to pull this giant bucket truck out. And they had a uh, Jeep sitting tandem trying to pull it out too. This is where they were burning rubber trying to pull it out of there. Uh, there's another hole in the driveway. And then they had a tractor trying to pull that out too. So they had, one, they had the tractor, this 4x4 truck, and this bucket truck trying to pull that mess out of there with a Jeep sitting next to the 4x4 trying to pull tandem. So hopefully in the next few hours they'll have somebody up here to, to pull it out or try to pull it out anyway. But it is a hot mess.